A decade of Dumb Marvel life. We enjoy playing back stories that we have shared with you through the years. Many of those stories, uh, like we just heard from Jim Duffy, touch on Delmarva's history. Yeah, most people here already know that Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass are from this area. But did you know there are many more African-American historical figures with ties to the peninsula? For decades now, Dr. Clara Small has been digging into that history. We revisit her story as we continue today's Throwback Thursday. Dr. Clara Small is passionate about history. History tells me a lot about people how people can influence others, how geography, religion, social factors, economic factors, political factors can influence people and the decisions that they make. And for nearly 40 years, she taught African-American history at Salisbury University. Teaching is always fun, but it's also a learning experience, getting to understand your students, getting to see where they're coming from, um, what experiences they bring to the class, but also trying to debunk some stories and that they have been told. Taking the position was an easy decision to make. When I realized just how close I was to where Harriet Tugman was born, how close I was to Frederick Douglass. The decision to become an author, that was more of an accident. Because a student had the audacity to tell me in the class on a Friday afternoon that blacks have never done anything in this country and definitely not on the Eastern Shore. So uh, I dismissed class quite rapidly to keep from going to jail because I thought that was what was going to happen because steam was coming out of every part of my body. And so I went home and started writing. That's how Reality Check, brief biographies of African-American dreams on Delmarva, became a reality. Dr. Small eventually co-authored a second book, Men of Collar to Arms. It is about um, African Americans, free blacks, as well as slaves who served in the Civil War from Somerset and Worcester County. Uh, it was done with uh, Reverend David Burdell, who came to me and said he was working on a family member, Isaiah Fassett, who had served in the Civil War. And so they, he, as well as others, thought only maybe five or six individuals from this area had served in the Civil War. So we talked about it. So sure, I've been doing a little bit of that research along with some other things, and we started working on it. And it ended up being 1,284 free blacks and slaves who served in the Civil War. Dr. Small says that if you would plot a compass on the Delmarva Peninsula and expand it to 60 or 90 degrees, you would cover the locations or sites where the most famous African Americans lived in this country. That's how her third book, Compass Points, Profiles and Biographies of African Americans from the Delmarva Peninsula, got its name. It started when I began teaching African American history and I began to see so many references to individuals from here on the shore. Mm -hmm. um, Del Marv is very rich in history. It's the lo oldest and longest continuous history in this country. Everybody says, oh, um, New England, but it's not. The continuous records are here. So I started collecting the information, also interviewing individuals, and every bit of information I could find, I started collecting, putting it together. Dr. Small says there's too much information for one book, so she's working on volume two. I want individuals to see and understand the history around them and for families to understand that, yes, they're part of history. Mm -hmm. And the only way to do it is put it in print and hopefully someone will read it and have an understanding of themselves. And we told you in 2015, and it still holds true today, Dr. Small is still traveling the peninsula, sharing her wealth of knowledge. That's a Delmarva treasure right there. Huh? Absolutely. Whew.